Hey everybody, what's up y'all? Tammy Tucks here. Let's get into some Married at First Sight news. So, Married at First Sight um, sat down exclusively with People Magazine and they gave a bunch of details on the upcoming season 16, which will air in Nashville starting this January 2023. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I do breakdowns on various TV shows, both scripted and reality interjecting my own thoughts, opinions, and theories into each and every recap. For Married at First Sight, I do dedicated video videos for each individual couple. That way you are not sitting through commentary for a couple you do not care about, and there is always one couple that we don't care about every season. All right, so if you have not already subscribed, um, I'll be doing recaps on Married at First Sight right away in January. I'll also be doing some videos so we can meet the couples all together before. So we have a blast here over on my channel. So subscribe, thumbs up the video, hop into the comment section. Let's talk about a couple things in the video um, from the, um, this People Magazine article. So People um, Magazine can exclusively revealed that the Lifetime Matchmaking series will officially run with expanded 90-minute episodes for its Sweet 16 season, which premieres January 4th. 90-minute episodes? That's not expanded, for one. So the language is a little confusing, but y'all don't know how I am praying, okay? Praying that this is indeed a 90-minute show moving forward. Married at First Sight has been two hours. Married at First Sight, while I love watching the show, I love recapping the show, I love talking to y'all about the show in the comments, in the lives, in the lives, and everything else that we do, but a two-hour show is a lot because I do five videos every night after. So we can get this down to a 90-minute show, which is an hour and a half. That would be perfect. Because then they're saying right after that, they're going to have the, the after party with Keisha Knight Pulliam. Rudy is coming back and that's going to come in. So now we have just a, a clean two hours of Married at First Sight. What do y'all think about that? I think it is a fantastic idea, y'all. Fantastic idea. Because let's be real. Married at First Sight is going to give us one over-the-top crazy couple that's going to monopolize the scenes, right? Because we want to get as much of the drama in as we can. Married at First Sight is then going to give us one couple that seemingly has absolutely no issues. They, they're, they're getting along just great. Married at First Sight is going to throw something at them, a fake baby, craft some type of argument with them. They're going to get very, very little scenes. So we'll say that the the, the, the dynamic drama field couple is going to get maybe 60%. This boring, perfect couple is going to get 10%. So what is that, 70? That's going to leave 30% for these other couples. What ends up happening is we get sick of the drama field couple. <laughs> We don't need it. So, they're because they're pushing it with these two-hour episodes. They're pushing it. But the caveat to that is, this season will be 23 episodes. Are you shitting me? 23, 23 episodes? This shit better be 90 minutes. A 23 episode. Back in the day, I am a 90s kid. Born in the mid-80s, raised in the 90s. So I grew up on the, the Martins, the Living Singles, the uh, the Fresh Prince, all that type of stuff. You know what those shows were? 22, 23 episode seasons. That's back when TV used to TV. Not like the 10 episode seasons that we get now. Or the hell, 100 episode seasons that Tyler Perry gives us. 23 episodes is crazy, y'all. That means that this show is going to be on from January up until June. Half of the year, we are going to be watching season 16. 23 episodes. The 10 singles are, or the five married couples, are Eris, Jasmine, Christina, excuse me, 
Christopher, Nicole, Clint, Gina, McKinley, Dominique, Shaquille, and Kristen. So what they're going to do now is there are some new twists and turns. You know, they always like to say it's the most shocking, more romance, intense stakes. That means that y'all y'all went and found some drama drama for the show. We don't care about that. We'll get to it when we get to it. They do reveal that one woman's husband makes an indecent proposal to another man's wife. So y'all just plan on clowning this season. Absolutely clowning. Nonetheless, 90 minute episodes. That's the kicker. That, that is our saving grace. 90 minute episodes, y'all. So Devon Franklin is going to be back as a guest expert. I'll say this. I know a lot of people don't like Devon Franklin. A lot of people felt that he was not equipped and that he should not have been um, a guest since, you know, he went through and just got divorced from making good. I like Devon on the show. I like the the um, advice that he gave them. I like the way he was talking to the couples. He was getting to the root of it. He's younger. People, they're like, they were able to identify more with him. Because let's be real, Pastor Cal is low-key misogynistic, and he's very old school in his approach. All he wants y'all to do is consummate. Dr. Pepper, I feel like the, at the first sign of trouble between y'all, Dr. Pepper taps out herself. So the new Dr. Pia, who is back, because Dr. Pia wasn't playing last season either. Dr. Pia and Devon needs to be more integrated into this season. Not the two episodes we saw them in last season. So they're both back, which is which is good. What is new this season is going to be that right after Decision Day, there's going to be three additional episodes that are titled Beyond Decision Day. And with those episodes, or what I'm assuming, because it just says where cameras will document the aftermath of Decision Day and what happens when the experiment ends and real life begins. It's still not real life if the cameras are around. But what I think is going to be is so more often than not, we see Decision Day where some couples do stay together and some couples divorce. It takes, what, maybe six or so months before they film the reunion. So we have no idea what happened in these six or so months. No idea whatsoever. I actually like that idea. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. Because if it's going to mean, for instance, Jasmina and Michael, right? They stayed married. A lot of what we missed in between them being broken up by decision day is he say, she say. Because we don't know what happened. We don't know when the, the cameras go away. We don't know when the experiment is over, where you guys, you know, are, are forced to hang out with the other couples, where you guys are forced to do these experiments. So I'm wondering if it's going to be filmed more like couples cam or if it's actually going to be still full production crew. I like that idea, though. So we get that and then we get, you know, the after the altar special, which I actually really, really like. I know a lot of people don't care for After the Altar. I like it. It always feels rushed because they're cramming everything into that one week. I would actually like, this isn't After the Altar. I'm thinking of Love is Blind. The Where Are They Now? I actually like the Where Are They Now because I think it gives more insight, but it does feel rushed. It feels very, very rushed. So I think what they need to do is if, you know, the experiment is two months. So if they get married in January, they film January or February. I think the reunion needs to come a little more quickly after as opposed to the reunion. And then like a couple weeks later, filming the where are they now? Because nothing has changed. You know what I mean? I, like, there might be one or two, you know, issues that arise, but nothing has really changed. But let me know what you guys think about these new changes. How do you guys feel about Devon Franklin being back and Dr. Pia being back just in a guest capacity? How do you guys feel about 90-minute um, episodes? 
I can tell y'all this. They give 90 minute episodes. I will be more willing to watch <laughs> the after party and do recaps on the after party. But I'm just not giving Mary that first sight two and a half hours of my night plus filming five videos. That's not going to happen. I work. <laughs> and I work early in the morning. So let me know what you guys feel about all of this. How do you guys feel about the three new additional episodes that they are going to be putting in, which are the after the decision day. And I will catch you guys probably next week sometime. And then we can start breaking down these couples because the cast has been revealed. Their pictures and stuff. We can start breaking that down. Seeing who looks aesthetically pleasing together. Who do we think is going to work. Blah, blah, blah. All that good stuff. And I will catch you guys January 4th for sure for episode one. If you have not already subscribed, like, and uh, hop in the comment section. Let's talk, y'all. Catch y'all in the next one.